Hey guys, welcome to Find the Perfect Place, your new destination for amazing home tours. I'm Bronson and behind the camera is Zisha. Hey guys. We're back in Australia in a little place called Yamba, which is located in New South Wales, which was recently voted Australia's number one tourist town. How good? Where are we staying, you might be thinking? Well, we're staying in these not only incredible, but identical tiny homes. Come with us as we show you around today's perfect place. This right here is over 30 acres of farmland. It's just a short 10 minute drive from the town centre. This place has both stunning river views and access to the most cutest farm animals. Horses, cows and even a few friendly dogs on property to keep us all company. A really awesome feature about this stay is that both tiny homes are dog friendly. They've got their own private dog yard with a fence and everything, a kennel and dog bowls to boot. The tiny homes go by the name of Iris and Irene. You can book one or book both, depending on how many people you have. Last night we slept in Iris, as us and the owners wanted to keep Irene in tip top shape for today's tour. Reason being, is because Irene right here is actually the family favourite. You want to know why? Because it's got the best views. Both tiny homes feature wraparound decks with a couple chairs, a table, and that stunning view. There's a table and chair so you can eat your breakfast like Zesha and I did this morning. Look out to nature, look at the animals, watch the river, watch life pass you by. So that about wraps up everything I've got to show you outside the tiny home. Now Zesha is going to show you everything that's amazing on the inside. Of This tiny home is just over 17 square meters and boy has a lot been packed in to such a small space. We're currently standing in the living room. This is completely kitted out with a corner sofa, a TV and the most beautiful decor you ever did see. I absolutely love the styling within this home. Now just behind me, this is where we enter in to the kitchen. And man, this is a decent size for tiny living. You'll notice that you've got all full-size appliances. You've got a four burner gas stove, a full-size oven, and just behind me on my right, there is also a full-size fridge. So you're not going without any of the luxuries during this tiny stay. Hidden away in the cupboards is a full-size kettle and toaster. We enjoyed a hot cup of this morning and the spectacular view. Now one of my favourite features of this tiny is the staircase they have built in up to the loft. Now that's where the bedroom is housed and we'll go up there in a few moments time so you can check out that space. But this storage nook here is so super cool. Firstly, I absolutely love the library area. What a perfect place to store all of your books for that light holiday reading. And you will notice quite the selection has been supplied by the hosts, which is fantastic. Now in here is actually a hidden wardrobe, which I just think is so super cool. You can uh, hang up a few items, coat hangers have been provided as well. And I must also mention the gorgeous handles that they've attached to each and every cupboard throughout this space. That is just such a cute little touch and makes it extremely unique. Now this space here is actually the pantry, which is so super cool. Once again, there are a few goodies in there that have been supplied for your stay as well. So I love how this space has been used. Of course, in tiny living, storage is key and look at all of the storage you've got right here. Now on the left hand side of the kitchen, this is where the sink area is, a really decent sized sink at that. You've got your drawers just like you would regularly have in a standard kitchen. You're underneath the sink and even a spot for a microwave, but in this instance, there is actually an espresso coffee machine. So the hosts really are looking after us all for our morning coffee fix. Now along the top here, you've got all the extra storage for those extra kitchen goodies. And once again, the decor is just so super cute. It's got very much that boho-esque kind of vibe. Further 
through to the back of the tiny home. This is where the bathroom is. This space here is really, really functional. To my right, there is tons of extra storage. There is also a sneaky extra rail here for hanging even more clothing, which I just think is absolutely fantastic. I don't think we've ever quite seen this much storage in a tiny home. What do you reckon, Bronson? Definitely not. So they've definitely maximized the options of space for sure. Absolutely, like it's so, like all the little hidden nooks are just absolutely incredible. So to the side here, there's actually more of a bench space, which is absolutely fantastic for getting ready in the morning. This is actually where I set up all of my makeup goods. And then of course, right behind me is the mirror. So this is just the perfect little spot to get ready of a morning. You've got tons of natural light coming into the space as well. Of course, you've got the toilet, basin right behind me and then the shower on the right. A gorgeous rainfall shower head there as well which was really nice and very much enjoyed this morning. So that wraps up the bathroom space. We'll take you upstairs so you can check out the loft, but just quickly, I wanted to point out this gorgeous barn door. So if you are needing a few moments of privacy, all you have to do is slide this one across and that's exactly what you get. All right, time to check out upstairs. Come with us. Hidden away in the loft is a queen size bed. I absolutely love that this loft is accessible by steps and you have the handrail for guidance as well. You can also find in this space a small side table which is just so super cute and you do have charging ports for your phones right next to the bed which is always super handy. Now if you're needing more sleeping space, the corner sofa does convert into a double size bed. So there is plenty of room for up to three adults or if you're going on a little bit of a family holiday, this is the perfect place for you. mentioned this is one of two tinies on property. They're both available for booking and they have an identical layout. Today we've shown you Irene and the second is Iris. Whichever you book you are going to have an amazing stay. Not only are you getting to experience tiny living during your little staycation or vacation, you also get to be immersed in farm life. They have so many animals on property, it truly has been the highlight. We've been able to see horses, calves, little doggos running around as well, which I absolutely adore. And there is a very special mama on property at the moment as well, and she is just absolutely gorgeous. We have to say a huge thank you to the hosts for inviting us on property today. It has been so super special to be immersed in nature and check out yet another tiny home. If you haven't seen our other tiny home tours, we will put a link to the playlist at the end of today's video so you can pop on over and check those ones out right away. Thank you ever so much for watching today's video and hit the subscribe button while you're here and if you did enjoy, give us a big thumbs up. It helps out so much. As always, we look forward to seeing you in our next perfect place.